And today we're doing a boxing. All right, it's kind of like part two. Uh, last week we were supposed to have a two unboxings and uh, we couldn't get the one to work. So here it is, we got part two for today. We got the second box this week and let's see what we got. Just this for you guys. All right, so I bought, also bought this gecko a couple months ago. We all know that the summer was really hot and so anybody who's ordered geckos in the last few months knew that the uh, 90 degree temperatures that we had this summer lasted a very long time. And so uh, long awaited, this gecko is probably full grown by now when I bought it, it was really small. But it's been a few months now, so let's see how big this gecko is. I haven't even checked to see the date that I bought it. I just kind of wanted it to be a surprise. I haven't looked at any pictures or anything. I got this uh, gecko from uh, a breeder in California. I think her, her name is Gekkesis. Hopefully I said that right. I'll show you the card. Hopefully she has a card in here. Um, I did go to Timmy this year. Uh, fortunately and unfortunately, I did buy a lot of stuff. Um, I didn't buy any geckos, which I thought I was going to for sure buy some geckos this year at Tinley because every single time I go to Tinley, I always come home with a bunch of geckos. Um, but I had in mind uh, putting together my gecko room. I've been working on this gecko room for a while now. We're actually in it right now. I don't have uh, anything set up at the moment just maybe just a couple of the racks you can see in the background uh, but I am moving the geckos in here in the next month or so so maybe I can make a video on that um, so yeah I didn't buy anything uh, uh, actual geckos but I did buy some supplies for the gecko room that's what I was trying to tell you that I bought some caging and some uh, uh, some supplies for the geckos and that way I can put it together. So I got really busy at the show uh, just buying supplies for the gecko room that I actually didn't have a chance to look and buy a gecko. Um, but it worked out good because, uh, it, you know, I think it's, you gotta have a place for the geckos, not just geckos, right? So I'm working on that slowly. Um, but I'm so excited about this package uh, what we have inside here is something that I've been anticipating for a long time now, as you guys can tell. All right, let's see. Let's open this up as usual. All right. There's the top. All right. Wow. Okay. This looks nice already. I'm going to show you what we got here. Look at how this breeder package, top notch. Gekkesis? I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but that's what it looks like here. I'm gonna I'll put it back closer. Look at the quality of the paper. Wow, amazing. Okay, let's get this opened up here. I don't even wanna open it, it's so nice. I went to the FedEx, and the lady at the FedEx was telling me that she's been getting a lot of uh, animal packages this, this this week and I was also explaining to her the same thing I told you guys that the weather's been bad and we finally have a window of opening and she said yeah she had people picking up reptiles left and right and that one guy actually uh, he opened up the snake bag <laughs> in the in the FedEx office and told her that he had to make sure that the animal was okay which is understandable but she started freaking out a little bit it was an interesting conversation. All right, there's a thank you card. Beautiful. Look at this paper, it's like a golden paper. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what we got. I'm gonna put the gecko to the side. You gotta look at this box, guys. Look at, it's like a little nest. Absolutely one of the most beautiful gecko unboxings, uh, unboxings that I ever had to do. Here you go, see, look at got this like like a little bird nest it's amazing this gecko was definitely shipped first class let me tell you 
This is one happy gecko. Just want to see what else is in the box here. And then some paper underneath it. And then some packing paper. And of course, the best, the cryo pack. So she had the cryo pack in there. Then she had some bubble wrap. And then a layer of, of uh, cardboard. Oh, like nice material. Like every one of these pieces is nice. And then this is like the material that you use um, um, when I used to breed fruit flies. You can use this material. The little fruit flies going there. It's pretty cool. Maybe I'll do a video on that. But I don't. I don't. I don't have any uh, any more frogs that I'm dark frogs that I used to have. I don't have any more of that. So, uh, but that's amazing packing material. Like the gecko must have been super happy in there. All right, and then the golden paper. All right, get the box out of the way, guys. Right, like open up this gecko. What are you doing? You're always, always trying to drag it on. I know. All right, so before here, you guys could get a little tiny peek, peek at that box there, the gecko. As always, I'm gonna weigh the gecko. Last video, I was gonna show you the weighing the gecko, but unfortunately, the gecko was in deep shed, and I just wanted to get the gecko back into his little enclosure, so he didn't stress out too much. And I will be making another video on my red fire gecko that I got last week. But this was supposed to come in last week too, but here we are doing another video, which is awesome. All right, here's a moment of truth. Let's open this baby up. So this, my friends, is a little boy. And wow, he is a lot bigger than what I expected. And here we go, I'm gonna bring this guy up. It's another Lily White. I absolutely love these Lily Whites. And I'm going to bring bring him up to the camera. And he's a high red. He's a little chilly. It's a little bit cold outside. And he's not fired up at the moment. But check him out, guys. He is absolutely stunning. Another red. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. I'm trying to get you guys in the camera. Another beautiful red lily white gecko. Alright. So this time, I'm not going to forget the video. Let's get his little head. I am definitely going to take pictures of him fired up so you guys can see the you can see the, the red. This looks pink right now. Under the lily white, under the white markings. All right, let's see how much he weighs. I have no idea. Okay, so usually what I do is, okay, this is what I'll show you guys right now. I'll put the little, little scale here. And I'll put, I'll use this for today, but you can use anything you want. You want to use something to prop up the gecko. Because like I said, if you put the gecko directly on here, you just gonna, whoop, whoop, you're just gonna run around the circles. You would like, stay still gecko. And that's not what we want. So we want to put belly cup or whatever you got and zero it out. And I'm going to let him crawl on top of it now. Let's see if I can crawl from too much. He seems pretty calm. You know, all the flight all the way from California. Alright, this color was pretty big. So he's coming in at Looks like 14.55 grams. That's where he's at. All right. So I'll write that down. You guys can look at this little gecko real quick. All right, 14. Point, all right, it went up. I don't know. It's moving around. 14.67 is what I got. So I'm gonna write that down. So I like to weigh the gecko. Uh, we know geckos are going to grow, but it's kind of a good idea to see if he drops any weight. In the next couple weeks if he's eating it just kind of shows me that the gecko's happy um, when i first weigh him and if i don't see any change in weight or, or weights going down then i can you know make sure i could either change his diet to what it is 
or uh, change his environment a little bit. That, not too much change because they won't eat right away anyways. They tend to, uh, uh, some of my geckos when I buy them, they eat right away. Some of them wait a week. They just, it all depends on the gecko. You just want to make sure that you're, you're checking, checking their weight just to make sure that they're, they're actually gaining weight. It's not what you want. All right, I'm gonna put them away. Um, I wanna say thank you again for tuning into my video. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. I absolutely love these geckos. I gotta do an update on all my other geckos, guys. I do have a lot of different species of geckos too, so that you guys know. You know I have some gargoyles, I got some leaf tails, and uh, some crusties. And I'm gonna have to showcase some of them because I got a lot to show, but I don't have enough videos. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to uh, go ahead and show you guys some more of my animals. All right, thank you so much. Over and out. Bye.